everybody and welcome to Hardware Heaven. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Wikipad gaming tablet. Now I'm very excited to be reviewing this product for a wide variety of reasons. It is a mobile gaming tablet with a built-in and removable controller. So you can have more control over your mobile games like you would with a console game. It's very, very interesting. So first off, I'm gonna start with what we've got inside the box. Then I'm gonna take you through the actual controller and tablet and I'll give you my thoughts and feelings on it. So let's get started. <laughs> box we of course have the wikipad tablet which is a seven inch android tablet it's currently running on an older version of jelly bean but that is to be completely upgradable in the near future we then have the actual controller here which if you see we simply slide the wikipad tablet into the controller and it sits nicely inside there for us to use and play with. So those two come initially separate. We then have our power block and cables with a European and UK plug socket on there for you. So you can take it abroad or depending on whether you live in the EU or Europe, you won't have to worry about that. We also have our quick start guide to take us through all of the kind initial setup of the wiki pad where all of the buttons are located and what they do but essentially if you have an android smartphone or have used an android tablet in the past it pretty much works exactly the same way this is just a tablet more designed towards that of mobile gaming and then lastly we get a nice cloth in here to make sure our screen is all kept clean and nice for when we want to use it so if we now take a closer look at the Wikipad tablet, you can see here it's a pretty standard tablet. If anything, it looks like a giant Galaxy Note, if that's possible. We've got a camera located at the top here, and then our seven inch touchscreen display. We then have the power button, as well as the volume controls, a microphone, a headphone port, and a micro HDMI port there. On the back we have the base for it to slot into and then we have a nice wiki pad embedded design there. It tells us that it's got 16 gigabytes of memory which is great to know. We also have a slot for a micro SD card as well so if you did want to put more memory in there you can. And then of course we have the charging dock at the bottom. As I said, this is running on an older version of Android Jelly Bean, but it is fully upgradable in the near future. Works just like a normal tablet. So even though this is designed to be bundled with the controller for games, for a standalone tablet, it works perfectly fine. It's a similar size to that of the iPad mini. So if you were thinking in your head and you know the iPad mini because you've not been an Android user in the past, then it's that kind of size. So you can open up Google Chrome, you can go to the Google Play Store, you can get any app that you would normally be able to get on an Android smartphone on here, whether you want it to be Skype, your emails, any social media, any of that stuff, it all works perfectly fine, your calendar, etc, etc. We do have some additional game options on here, for example PlayStation Mobile, we've got Tegra Zone and Envision as well, as the Google Play Store to download a wide variety of mobile games on there. My particular favourite is a game called Reaper, it's completely free up till level 10, there's no microtransactions, just as soon as you hit level 10 you can decide to upgrade to premium if you want to, and I absolutely love that, I think that's a great game model, but it's extremely fun, you basically play as this Reaper who has a really big sword, it's like the pale swords when you have to kill things and complete quests and upgrade your armour and stuff like that, I'll add some gameplay in now so you can see that, but some other options of games that are highly recommended are things like Real Racing 3, Dead Trigger, Dead Zone, 
hockey games, FIFA 14 and Sonic. They are all games that you'll be able to use with the controller to have a better play experience. But of course, as an example, if you want to load up something like Frozen, which is essentially another version of the massive bejeweled frenzy that are on the app stores, you can use that simply as you normally would on a phone or a tablet. You completely just take off the controller and then you're able to play the game as normal, which I think is absolutely great. So much like with computers, to see how well a system performs, we use 3D Mark. But for tablets, it's always the ice storm test that you will run. And this actually got a score of 3,629. The graphics score was 3,221, with a physics score of 6,512. If that is something that interests you, it did get actually two stars out of five on performance on the 3D Mark score, but that is not the only thing that you will look at when testing a tablet. Another thing that I'll always pay attention to is how responsive it is. As you can see, I can slide on the tablet with complete ease. There's no sort of lag, it's really responsive. When going around sort of websites and browsing things like that, it's very responsive. There's no latency or lag when pressing any buttons. I think on that side of things, it performs really well. However, after gaming for long periods of time on it, if you are playing games back to back to back, you will notice occasionally there is a little bit of graphics lag. It will be as if it's kind of dropped one frame, then it picks itself back up again. But that's to be expected. It normally happens on my Galaxy Note 3 phone. It's happened on various tablets that I've used in the past. So now let's talk about this controller device. I absolutely love the design. I love the fact that the tablet slots into the controller and then it's completely stable. You just hold the controller and your tablet is all secured nicely in there. You can actually charge it whilst you're using the controller by inserting the charging cable into here rather than directly into the tablet. I love the buttons, although I feel like they could have been made at a bit of a higher quality, a little bit more like our next gen buttons. These are a little bit more like Xbox 360 buttons. I prefer now more kind of rubberized finished buttons rather than plastic, but that's just a, a little picky thing on my behalf. The analog sticks work perfectly, they're extremely responsive, and we've also got our triggers on here as well, like we would expect from any controller. I feel that it's a good width, 7 inches is a nice width to have your hands apart and I really really like that. You can hold it comfortably, it doesn't feel weird, it doesn't feel too big, it's comfy in your hand and this doesn't weigh really anything, it doesn't add much weight onto the device at all so it's not going to give you a crazy amount of arm ache or anything like that. Overall, I think the Wikipad is a great device for someone who enjoys mobile games but would like a controller. You have to bear in mind that this is mobile games. You can't compare this to something like the Razer Edge because the Razer Edge can play PC games on a tablet. This is a mobile gaming device for games that you can find on app stores that you would normally play on something like your phone. I really like the way they have designed this. Most people normally take your phone and have a normal kind of Xbox, PlayStation style controller underneath and you simply plug it in. I much prefer this on a tablet. You've got a bigger screen. It slots really, really nicely into the controller. Everything is secure. It doesn't feel like anything's gonna fall out. It's also nice to have that kind of additional tablet for gaming rather than using your phone, wearing out your battery. You know, this is the kind of thing designed to use on public transport where a laptop wouldn't really be suitable. So getting that out, not having to worry about draining your phone battery is really, really good. For something that costs just over 200 pound, getting the seven inch completely functional tablet on its own 
plus the controller I think is a complete bargain. It works extremely well, it's got a huge variety of games that are compatible with it and it's endlessly growing as this kind of thing gets more and more popular. There will be something for everyone on the App Store but just bear in mind you may have to trail through quite a few games before you find one you specifically like or find one that you've works really well with the controller because still there are some games that says it is compatible but some of them the controller still feels a little bit off and it would be much easier to use it with a touch screen but games like FIFA and Real Racing definitely benefit from having a controller things that need precision and something that you would normally play on a home console simply because of the design the cost and how well it performs. I'm definitely gonna give this a gold rating. You should definitely check it out if you are a mobile gaming lover. Personally, for me, I still prefer a handheld console like a PSP, PS Vita, 3DS, and I will always have that close to my heart because Nintendo Game Boys are what I grew up on. And I've always kind of felt that the payment models of mobile games kind of always frustrate me. But there are a lot of hidden gems on the app stores if you're willing to spend enough time looking for them, much like Reaper. I've really enjoyed playing that and I would definitely recommend it. I'd also recommend you get in the wiki pad because it is extremely fun. Since I've been reviewing it, I've been laying in bed in the mornings and evenings, constantly playing it and wondering, oh, maybe I like mobile games a little bit more than I let on. So if this is something that you are interested in, make sure to check it out considering the tablet and the controller the price is really really good as I said the game library is ever expanding and this is the best design of this kind of product I have ever seen I much prefer it to the ones with the kind of controller and then you attach a tablet or a phone on top I don't really like that it looks unstable and it doesn't look like a product on its own it does just look like you're attaching a controller to a device which which personally I don't think looks very nice so I hope you like this review I hope I've covered everything that you would want from the design to how well it performs to the games that you can play on it make sure to check it out leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye